Hello and welcome to this psychology video where we'll look at how to answer question 7 in the second set of A-level sample assessment material papers for AQA. So here's question 7 and it reads Brian's been driving for 5 years. Whilst driving Brian can hold conversations or listen to music with little difficulty. Bob has had 4 driving lessons. Driving requires so much more of Bob's concentration that during lessons he often misses what his driving instructor is telling him. With reference to the features of the working memory model, explain the different experiences of Brian and Bob. So here's a diagram of the working memory model on screen now. In order to answer this question, it's useful to consider actually an abstract example. Uh, so for the purpose of this example, let's imagine, uh, and this is meant to be Brian on screen, that we have 10 attentional resources in our short-term memory. Now please note this is a completely made up example, but I'm using it to really illustrate the question and help us arrive at a logical answer to this question. So we said that Brian's an experienced driver and therefore driving, which is of course a visual and spatial based task, will be relatively easy for him. Uh, and consequently what that means is the visuospatial sketchpad will not place much demand for resources on the central executive. So let's say for example uh, the visuospatial sketchpad only requires three attentional resources of Brian's available 10. What this means is that Brian has seven other resources left for other tasks which is why he's able to use the phonological loop and engage in other tasks easily. Okay. Let's turn that example over now. Uh, so Bob, on the other hand, he's the inexperienced driver. So let's assume he also has 10 attentional resources available. Uh, for Bob, his visuospatial sketchpad is going to place a much larger demand on the central executive. And let's say for the purpose of this example, it's going to require 9 out of the 10 available resources. This is only going to leave one attentional resource available for other tasks. And that clearly explains why he struggles to hear or even listen to the instructions that his driving instructor is giving him. Okay. So let's see what that now looks like as a, as a proper answer, so to speak. So I've put there that driving and holding a conversation requires the central executive to divide attention between the visuospatial sketchpad and the phonological loop. As Brian is an experienced driver, he says he's been driving for five years, driving is relatively easy for him and automatic, and therefore his visuospatial sketchpad will place less demand on the central executive, which frees up other resources for the phonological loop to engage in conversations or listen to music. Bob, on the other hand, his visuospatial sketchpad will place a much larger demand on the central executive because he's an inexperienced driver. And this is why Bob struggles to hear the instructor talking to him because he has less attentional resources available for his phonological loop, which would allow him to process this acoustic information. So you have a nice, short, concise answer, but it really, truly answers that question and doesn't just describe the, the working memory model, which many students would be tempted to do with a question like that, okay? Hope you found that video useful. For more support, take a look at the different options on screen now. Thank you for watching once again and goodbye for now.